crisis. You see this one? This is my favorite chart about crisis. When you run in 90 to 96, you grow, you do see. For, a, a, for exchange rate, rupiah dollar, flat. Not much different. You grow your business as big as possible, as far as possible. You run very fast. When financial crisis come, you know what happened? <laughs> From 2,000 rupiah, at some time, devalued to almost 15,000, and then generated to about 12, and later on back to 10,000, around that. 20% of value, 15% of value. How many people go to this clip wear parasuit? Not too many. Eh? There's a booming time. So you find out global financial crisis 2008. How many people wear parasuit in North America and Europe? Exactly the same. I'm not, definitely I'm not this. I'm this. But that scary moment is scary. When you see tomorrow, how this thing, your company, what you built for 30 years may disappear. So we work out the way because at that time, because think as well, I have two billion US dollars project undergoing on both in Indonesia and China. Two billion dollars, 97. After that happening, actually, I, what, I think I was very prudent. I raised 600 million dollars from New York equity. So I borrow two billion, I borrow 1.4. Then I say, oh, be prudent, be prudent. I diversify a true consortium bank. One consortium is domestic. The other consortium is an international bank in the Singapore, Hong Kong. The other consortium bank here is Export Credit Agency. So, this thing come out. I already put my equity in. There's a late 90, uh, 97 before everything blow up. So, luckily put it. But I'll draw down. So, draw down. So, the foreign bank are more efficient. So I can draw up some. And the domestic bank give you some local financing for civil work, local work, and so on. So during drawdown, because usually bank syndicate say, okay, put your equity first, then you start drawdown. But what happened? During crisis, the foreign banks say suddenly, I'm sorry, Mr. Sukanto, I cannot allow you draw down further because we have country risk. Cost border risk, no more. Export credit agency, they are all bureaucrat. They say, sorry, I cannot take Indonesia risk. We're not sure the country has still exist tomorrow. So cannot draw export credit, in including uh, Fin, Finera, Kofas from France and so on. Because I bought a lot of European machine. Uh, German, Amos, forget it. Then go to domestic bank, they're sympathetic, they want to give you some money, but they themselves also in bankrupt because they are, because you have to pay dollar, buy machine, because they are LC like waste paper. What are you going to do? So at the end of the day, it happened, I have some plan still produce cash, so I talk to bank, work out the way out, and you give me more time. So I will make it happen, the most important, this $2 billion need to complete. And then at the same time, what is the most valuable asset? My China investment. I sold it and then worked out in some of the bank. So because that is the decision you need to make. You cannot be thinking, you know, denial and so on. So face reality, the most important I get is $2 billion being built. Then I can produce three, four times cash flow than what I have now. So, and then furthermore, in hindsight also I learned when crisis, when you export business, it's fantastic. You know why? Your cost in rupiah, local currency, devalued. Your export is dollar. 
That's how Brazilian export business is good now. Because they devalue. And that's how you know, this devaluation, strong US dollar now, made some country export. So coming back here, so I sell the asset, bring six, seven hundred million dollars in, and I reschedule some of the things, have some more cash flow. So at 2002, I finished all this project. That's why I started the cash flow. So when I started that one, I started thinking, okay, this time I'm serious, I really have to be diversified. What, what can I learn from this? A few things I like. Remember Chinese saying, it's easy to say and difficult to done. Crisis, hui ji, hui xian. My definition, hui xian can qi hui. Dangerous and opportunity. If you go through the dangerous, it's a huge opportunity. I'm very lucky at that time because I was thinking stick my principal, I think, and I talked to the bank. I said, actually, who default? It's not me default. I put my equity in. It's you cannot put the money in because your situation I understand. So let me work out the situation. Give me the time. Yeah, I guarantee you, you get all the principal interested back. So today, I keep that principal. We pay, almost pay back all the uh, uh, outstanding principal, and then we pay full interest rate. None of the bank who stay with us losing money. Unless the bank thinking, you know, or oh, sell the debt at discount, so that's their own decision on business. So that's how. But that decision give me today because we can raise multi-billion dollar to a new project because of that track record. It's very important. So, crisis, danger opening is mindset. In that crisis, when you're alive and dead, you really cannot think clearly. So, the most important, you have to thanks to, you must have a safety net, at least psychology, you have someone to talk to. I'm very fortunate, I have family who stay with me, support with me. And one night, I talked to my daughter. I said, tough. If this thing going on there, I think we should be ready to move to STP. Yeah. So I still remember my daughter, my children, write a very touching note. I still keep it. Yeah. At night, put it in my bed. Papa, no matter what, we are ready. We will stay with you. So you feel this. When you stay in the apartment, bungalow house, big houses, suddenly you want to put the HDB. HDB in Singapore means low government housing, low cost housing. When you stay at a 10,000 square feet, suddenly you move to 500 square feet, the whole family. Can you imagine? So that's mental, but I have good family, supporting wife, and then a few friends which I can share the idea. So keep me cool, rational, and work out the solution. And second, life is like that, you know. You, when you cool, you find a way. That's why I say, there's a will, there's a way.